Hey guys, Poke Playtime here talking about X and Y. Um, last week we did the 10 things we did not like uh, about Pokemon X and Y and the new changes, and this week we're talking about the positives about what we loved so much about this game. Now, it was really, 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 really difficult to narrow it down to just 10 things, but um, I've sat down, I've racked my head as much as I can, and I've got a list right here, and I'm not going to show you. But my first one for you guys is um, at number 10, it's b the ability to be able to catch this guy. I'm even going to pronounce his name Zygarde. It's n essentially the Z Pokemon. I have never played a game, and I or played a Pokemon game where you have been able to catch essentially the third legendary Pokemon in a set where you had like red, green, yellow, blue where there was all the other blitz and you know diamond pearls ruby sapphire all that you were never able to catch the third pokemon it, it, like the third legendary so it's quite interesting to me to see what they're going to be doing or what they're they're planning maybe they're not planning a z version maybe they're planning something else and um like i said before maybe they're just planning on going straight to ruby and sapphire who knows at number nine, it's the new Pokemon Center screen. That when you get your Pokemon healed, you see your you see your guys open the screen. You know they're getting healed. I love that. That's such a neat little feature. That um, to me is it's simple, but it's just like oh, it's uh, like you can see the time and effort they're doing and really trying to upgrade the game. At number eight, it's the ease they've made EV and IV training so much easier, haven't they? It's awesome being able to just even for breeding you um i think it's a destiny knot i'm almost certain that it's a destiny knot you give your um parent pokemon so that they hold the attributes and that that's a really nice feature really easy to use and apparently you can get like a, a perfect pokemon within less than an hour which is just insane to me competitive pokemon battles are going to be so much easier now and it's really interesting to me and i will actually consider it now because up until now i've just been a tcg player we'll see how it goes um at number seven is the looker quest at the end of the game after you beat the elite four you get the option to do this i highly recommend doing it it's five or six chapters really interesting it's really enjoyable great story give it a check at number six is the pure nostalgia of the games for me i have played the games from red blue all the way up to now and it's it's been a roller coaster of emotions like for the, the first pokemon i encountered when i went through the grass for the first the long grass for the first time was a pg I was just like, oh no, those were the days, those were the days. And then I go through the forest and I'm like able to catch a Pikachu and a Caterpie and a Weedle and I'm like, what? Yeah, it's it's crazy to me to like to go to a whole new region and to be just thrown those Pokemon straight in your face from the get-go. It's really, really cool. Um at number five is the new GTS and the general online settings for training. The fact you do not have to go into the Pokemon Center anymore is awesome i really like that idea i hope that continues on the wonder trading everything like that all powers being able to say happy birthday are nice to one another it's a really nice feature and it was well thought out at number four is the in battle animations everything from the actual moves themselves okay some of them are stupid like vine whip where they're like just jumping i don't know it, d it didn't make sense but to when the Pokemon are fainting, you see some of the, like, the big Pokemon where they're like falling down, putting their hand on the ground, and then like falling forward. It was really cool, really well thought out, and good job, Pokemon Company, that I really like that. Um, number three, obviously, character customizations. Like, the fact you can finally do that is just awesome to me to be like, hey, I want them to look what I would look like. I want them to look how I want them to look, or her. Um, I just really like that, and it's about time that came in. Okay, it, feel, it felt a little like Animal Crossing, but it worked, and I really enjoyed it. Although the prices were crazy, like as you're playing through, but once you finish the game, 
Easy peasy. Um, at number two was the chance to start off with three starters. To be able to have like Squirtle or Bulbasaur or Charmander, then you had um, the three Kalos starters, and then you were throwing Torchic as well. I was just like, this game is just awesome. And for the, you to have the chance to go through that whole game and have two of them to Mega Evolve by the end of it, that's just awesome. Like, this was, this was a game for the fans and for the old school fans and for someone new coming into the game I'd say they, they wouldn't get it but for for me personally I loved every second of that game. I'm 60 hours into the game right now and I can see myself playing another 60 because I'm still finding stuff in the game that I didn't know about and it's awesome. At number one, um, I couldn't decide, I had to put it as a joint number one, it's the EXP share slash get an XP for catching Pokemon and Mega Evolutions. How awesome are Mega Evolutions? They are so cool. My chairs are, like, because I'm playing X, it's like, oh no, this type matchup doesn't suit me against an electric type Pokemon anymore. Boop, Mega Evolve. Oh, he's a dragon now. Doesn't affect me. Awesome. And then, for, to be able to just go around, to not have to grind, to be able to just be like, catch a Pokemon, catch a Pokemon, couple battles, boom, ready for the gym, speeds up the game process so much better. And for people who don't have the time to play, to grind and grind and grind, and pr possibly lose interest in the game, it's awesome. Like, because you don't really, like, I'd finished it now in, like, 30 hours, maybe? Maybe a little more, I'm not fully sure. But probably a little less. Anyway, that's my top 10. If you agree, disagree, or have any other things that you feel should have been in the top 10, please leave it in the comments below. Um, I'm Alan from Poké Playtime. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you.